so let us do some proper alignment and formatting for our dashboard and for that first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reduce the size of this PNL so that you know I have more space available for visuals on my dashboard and for that I will have to go back to my uh, profit and loss uh, sheet here and once I'm here I'm click on I will click on format and I will click on font and in this sheet option here i will go to this option and i will reduce the font size from 9 to 8 and once you do that you can see that the font size has been reduced and after that i can reduce this column size as well i don't need that big column so just hover over there and then gently reduce the size and you can see that i have now a more compact form of profit and loss statement let me go back to my dashboard and it should be fixed there already now let me drag down this from here to this uh, this area let me reduce the size and make it a little bigger to align both of them properly or maybe increase the size a little bit more and similarly for this one as well let us align this properly and reduce the size but the problem is i still do not have sufficient space available in my uh, dashboard so i still need to do something so let me try to reduce the size of this column here so let me drag it down towards this one and similarly i will reduce the size of this column as well so let us hover over here and once you see this arrow let us reduce the size so we have some improvement but still we need to do a lot more so okay so i can simply reduce the size of this visual as well i don't have so much data so if i just hover over this one now i can i'm almost there so i'll just reduce a little bit more size so that my pnl is properly i can place that to the corner and now my pnl I think I'm done with the PNL and now I have to reduce the size of these visuals. So let us do that one by one. So let me fix this one first and then let me do the same for this one as well. Let me increase on this end and similarly. So this one is looking okay and finally let us talk about this one let us reduce the size and we of course has we of course have the space available from top to bottom so i will definitely increase the size on that front so we can increase the length and similarly we can increase the length for this one as well and let me reduce the size now we want to remove this scroll down you know scroll bar so i'll click here and increase the length so that this scroll bar is gone and now you can see we have this profit and loss statement properly aligned and we have these charts as well and again there is a frame i don't need that so i'll remove this one and of course at the background you are seeing something we should have removed that straight away from that sheet but i forgot that so i'll remove that here now and let us place our title again at the corner right so we have left some space in the middle of the screen and that is basically for slicer so i will be going there in a minute but i am not still satisfied with my dashboard layout so i will just uh, you know uh, spend some more time Now you will notice that we have some lines for example for this visual we have this outline that is appearing here so i want to get rid of that and for that i will go back to the screen of this particular visual so this is the sheet here and now i will remove this outline by clicking here on the format and on the borders and then i will come to the columns and i will make this column divider to none and the lines have gone 
so let us go back to our dashboard and you can see that this visual has no outline now after this i want to remove these lines from both of these visuals and for that i will go to these sheets again so first of all let us go to this sheet here and you can see we have these lines click on format and borders and in the rows and please make it the row divider to none and you can see the lines have gone similarly if i go back to this part here in this visual we have the lines again so i will again go to the format borders and make the row divider none and the lines have gone so our dashboard is becoming comparatively neat now and next i will just make sure that these two charts the bars in these two two charts is properly aligned so that it is looking comparatively neat that is looking fine for me that is it the last bit that i want to do for my dashboard is to add the slicer so you know we have everything available on our dashboard but if i want to select this data uh, for any specific country i should be able to do that similarly if i want to see the data only for one specific quarter or one specific month i should be able to do that now how do we add the slicer on this dashboard that is a little tricky and we are going to do that in the next lecture